In today's video, we're gonna be going over how I edit viral Instagram Reels in DaVinci Resolve. This is an underrated skill to learn. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my full process, how I do things, and I'm actually gonna break down an edit that just recently went viral and gained me over 300 followers alone from one video on Instagram alone. So let's hop straight into DaVinci Resolve. All right guys, so here is the reel that actually went viral. So before you guys dive into this video, I'll show you guys what video, what you'll be actually learning in today's video. The truth is, you're not a bad editor. You just don't have the right systems in place to streamline your workflow. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is by using presets. You can either one, make your own presets, or you can copy my exact presets, which I use to edit this video in under five minutes in DaVinci Resolve. So if you wanna save hours on editing, then comment the word trenches, and I'll send you everything you need to know to get out of the trenches when it comes to editing. Now that you saw the video, I'm gonna break down why this went viral and how I edited the video basically. So you can see my whole timeline right here in DaVinci Resolve. Um, so the first thing we have to do here is unfortunately for Instagram these days, um, content just like this. You just don't have the right systems in place. Unfortunately at the moment just isn't working for some reason. So I decided to throw a Snapchat video in the beginning of the intro. So the truth is boom, you're not a bad editor. Just and then transition into the rest of the video, which is me um, telling you guys about my new product called Motion Text, which I just released. So basically, I was I was explaining to everyone that the whole video that they're watching was made with Motion Text Pro, which is true. All of these text effects right here you see were made with my pack Motion Text Pro, but I'm gonna show you guys how you could do them yourselves uh, in the first place. So if we first go to just this one right here. Right systems in place to streamline your workflow. So we're gonna go over this one right here for very first things. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these clips right here. Um, I'm actually just gonna take the whole sequence and we're just gonna copy it over here. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I was able to do something like this. Just so the way we the get a text like this where it animates up and you can change the text as it's animating up is actually so much easier than you think it is. So if we go ahead and deactivate this and head over to titles, um, you can just grab like a, a simple uh, text plus. In my Motion Text Pro pack, um, it, I give you all the fonts I use, but I'm not gatekeeping like I said. So for example, we have this one right here. I don't even know Tactic Sans. That's that one. And then we'll also be using um, a little bit of uh, Helvetica, which is like a classic text font. So that's what we'll be using in the beginning. So we'll be using Helvetica Noon. And then I think I, yeah, I used Bold. So we'll go ahead and slap bold on it. And all these titles are free, by the way. It's just a matter of like, if you could find them. I don't know if all of them are free, but like I said, in, my, in the motion text pack that like just saves you so much time, I give you all of them, but I'm gonna show you guys how I did it in the first place. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to add an animation to our text. By doing that, we're gonna go to head, head to the Fusion page and they're gonna be greeted with something like this. So first thing we need to do is we need to add Gaussian Blur. So go ahead and add your Gaussian Blur in, and then we're going to turn the strength to where it's just like that. I think it looks really cool as is, but to spice things up, what we'll do is we'll just add an e uh, Eclipse, and then we'll just keep this like this, maybe angle it like this, and then keep it towards the end, like right here, and then just turn on the soft edge. So now if we look at it, we already have something just pretty similar to this. So you can see it has that, it Damn. has that blur effect to it. So if you turn mine on, it has that same blur effect. Um, so now what we're gonna do is, um, there's so many things that you can do, but to do it just like how I did it, um, what did I say? I say, just don't have. So we're gonna go back to the Fusion page and after the Gaussian blur, we're gonna add in a transform node. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and come down like right here. The reason why we put the Gaussian blur before is because now I can move this and the Gaussian blur will stay with the text title. If we were to put it before, the Gaussian blur would just stay in one place. So now that we put a transform, it affects everything behind it. So now we're able to take this whole thing with us and put it down to like right here, hit a keyframe, go up like I mean, some, if you want to, you could do the animation longer, but the way I have it, I don't really have it longer. Go to like frame 22 and then just bring it back to 0 0.5. Head over to the settings and turn on the motion blur because this really sells the effect and hit zoom to fit. And then you're gonna wanna head over to the setting ease and then out cubic. So now if we play this through, 
boom, we have something like that, just like that. So now we have the animation. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to come to shading and you can see this opacity right here. Um, all we're gonna do is hit a keyframe and go like a couple frames forward and then just turn it back up. Okay, so now we can plug and play this. So obviously like I have the, them already right here ready for me to just kind of like cut it when I talk, but you could just simply cut it wherever you talk. Boom, just like that. Now go in and change the caption for what you say. So you just, just don't, 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 don't have, have the, have the right, right. So oh, now if we play this through, just don't have the right systems. It, boom. Just like that, baby. Just don't have the right systems. It, and now you have it just like that. So if you were to get my Motion Text Pro pack, it would be as simple as this. So it's just gonna be in your uh, text animations. So if you guys did buy the pack, it's actually on uh, a sale right now. So go cop it while it's still on sale. It's actually super affordable too, but you would just come to one of like the 50 presets I think I give you guys. Um, and you would come in here, I'm trying to find it because there's so much. So we have it right here, partial blur up. Um, and then we would take this, pull it in, cut it where we want it or whatnot and then bring this down. I'm just gonna move it in place of this. I'm gonna deactivate these. So you can see, you just don't we already have that animation done for us. So now we just saved all that time and then we can come in here, do the same thing we were just doing, cut it up and then just change this. So you just don't have the right system. So boom, just like just that. Don't have Literally saves me like, <laughs> I think that saved me like four minutes maybe. Um, and that's just one just don't have the right system. out of like all the text effects that you have in here. So <clears throat> anyways, this font is actually extremely um, hard to explain to you guys. Um, so basically I have some magic zoom going on up here and then we have this one right here in place and then we have this one coming in and then we have this animation right here and then we have this money glitch effect going on back here. So if you guys want to use this effect, it's actually pretty cool because you could just use this font right here and it pretty much like sells the effect for you almost. So we brought in a fresh new um, text plus. So we just basically grabbed this one from over here and just copied and pasted it to save our lives. Just to make it so much faster. Within the transform settings, um, we're gonna hit the offset, come over here, hit a keyframe, go to the end, and then we're gonna go back to 0 0.5, which is just, basically just gonna put this right where it's supposed to be. So now if we play this through, boom, we have something like that. Um, and then if we just simply come here, and like I said, same thing, just using the out cubic method, boom, just like that. And then we're doing the same thing by hitting the opacity levels, keeping them down and then pulling it back up. So then now we have something like that, boom, just like that. And then, so now if we put that right there, Right, and then we're gonna say in place, actually size it down, and then we're gonna use that same font. We could even do a different font if we want to, like in the font tree. But anyways, put it right there. Systems in, systems in Okay, so now I'm gonna show you um, the most important part, which is just this systems in, systems in place part. Um, so if we deactivate everything, we just have this like clean, crispy text effect. So if we come to the Fusion page, there's a lot going on here, to be truthfully honest with you. So if I come to the scale and I go up to 33, you can see how much is going on <laughs> in this um, actual Fusion node. But this is basically the general basis of how this um, font, or whatever you want to call it, crispy, uh, high quality filmic reel um, captions, this is how it's made. So you take the template, and from the template, you're going to add on your Gaussian blur, just as I was saying. Um, and then these are my settings for the Gaussian blur. And then you're gonna add a create bump map right after that. Make sure it's at five and make sure the channel is at red. Make sure the warp mode is on warp and the height scale is right there. And make sure you're using the texture depth as, as float 32. Um, and then you're gonna use an add color corrector right there and make sure you're using all the right color outputs. Then you're gonna add in a merge node right here. As you can see, this is just like connecting everything together. This is like the puzzle piece basically. 
Um, and this is what's gonna basically merge everything together. It's called a merge for a reason. So the templates output is gonna go to the yellow um, of the merge one, and then the color space, the color corrector is gonna go from the output to the green. And then down here is how the effect is actually created. So by using the, uh, these Eclipse, you can actually drag and move these um, however you like. If you want the, the effect only like over there, you can do that. But basically how you see this, so if we zoom into this, this is the best part about the font, is there's like a, a, like a, a 3D look to it. And that's exactly where the create bump map comes from. So if I change this to like three or something like that, like it does slowly change the actual thing. If I could turn this up, this turns up the actual um, depth of that whole thing, like the height scale. So if you want, you can come in here and change up the height scale however you want. You can change and mess up with the float. I just found out that float for 32 works better, okay? Um, and then adding these two eclipses. So how you do this is there's an eclipse right here and then basically what you're doing, so if we come to fit, it'll, if you add an eclipse in, so let's say I add an eclipse in, it's gonna come in as a circle like this. So there's gonna be drag, drags like that you can come. Like when I go around this circle, you can see white things. So I'm gonna drag this in to make it a kind of an oval like that. And then we're gonna rotate it at an angle like that. And then I'm hitting it right there and then I'm turning up my soft edge. So that's how I'm able to create those eclipses right there, connect them to, the, to each other. And then what you're gonna do is, um, that's where you can control the light, the white shine, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and then after that, it's just all the goodies. So this is where you'll actually end up changing the color. So if I wanna come in here and change this to like an orange, like I can do that. It's gonna look Tommy Tough Knuckles, okay? And then you can come down here and then add two soft glows. These are my settings for each of them. It's pretty much the same thing, just doubled. And then add a drop shadow. These are my settings for my drop shadow. Make sure you pause and watch this whole thing. Then last but not least, tie it in with another merge two and ending it with the output. So it's really not that hard. Um, and then you're using that same animation that I was using. You're just doing a little bit of a different, um, uh, you're doing a, di a different, whatchamacallit, a tr a tr uh, opacity method. Um, so the opacity method is just a little different. So now we can come here and I literally just fully changed that whole text font and look at how crispy it looks. Like I can just now come in here, like boom. Like systems in plate. And then all I was doing here, I can literally just extend this by the way. Um, and then all I was doing here was adding some zoom. So this is a free plugin. So if you know DaVinci Resolve, you should have this plugin, this magic zoom. Like systems in plate. Boom, just like that. And then guys, all this, this little money effect down here, the only thing that this is, it's just this tactic sans, just money signs on it. So if I come to the fusion page here, all I did was add a soft glow to it and then I added a rectangle mask to it. So if I come here, I can make it more of a dynamical kind of uh, fade in, fade out type deal here. Um, but basically we just cranked that soft edge up basically. So by cranking that soft edge up, it's just completely making it to where it's like almost, almost like a, a gradient in a way. Because if we were to come take this down, now it's just a basically a cutoff, okay? Um, and you don't want that. So you put it right here, crank up that soft edge. Look at how crispy that freaking looks, bro. I mean, come on. And then let's say you want this to match your freaking orange thing. Change the color, simple as that. Boom, now look at that. Look at how crispy that looks now. And if you don't want that to be money signs, you can come in here and add some explanation points. Like, how about that? Come in here, add some explanation points, just like that. Systems in place. To stream systems in place. Just like that. So systems tough, bro. Oh my gosh. I love DaVinci Resolve. This is why I love DaVinci Resolve. It's so customizable. Okay. And that's how we were able to create systems in place. Now from there, guys, it's literally just plug and plays. You can use all of those and just run with it and, and use them and tweak them in all different ways. So you can use animations by going right. You can use animations by going left. I showed you guys how to do the animations and how to ease in and ease out. All you have to do is just move it from another side. Let's say you want it to come from this side or this, or you want it to come to the corner. It's the same methods. You're just moving it in a different direction. Okay. So we come in here, line your workflow, this one. So easy. Look, I'll show you right now how easy this is. Come in here, take the text that you had previously animated in the beginning, come here, slap that on right there. Okay. Boom. Just like this. Okay. Streamline, okay? So streamline, we already have the text effect, so that's easy. 
Um, so then let's say we want to make this like a nice yellow color, just like that. Okay. After that, we want to make sure our Gaussian blur is still intact because it doesn't seem like it's working right now. So we just make sure that just tweak it like just a little bit. Okay. So streamline your workflow. And then let's say we want to make this a little different. You can do the same square method. Come here, add a freaking rectangle, invert it, come down like this, basically do the same exact method. So come here and then hit a keyframe, go up like this. Okay. And then come up like that and then invert it. So now if we play this through, boom, it's the same thing, just like that. But let's say you don't want that eased out animation. You just kind of want to do it a little different. What we can end up doing is changing this transform node to where it's only a rectangle. Let's say we want to make it completely different. What we could do is redo this animation like this. So just by taking all of these uh, keyframes away. And then as you can see, we can actually see the effect right here. So we're going to bring it down just a little bit below it. Boom, hit a keyframe go approximately like 10, 13, 12, 11 frames forward, and then bring it back all the way up, just like that. So now if we play this through, you have that, super lame. Go to the spline tab, hit zoom to fit. It's the same stuff, guys. Left click, ease, and then go to out cubic. So now if we play this through, we have that effect right there. Um, and then if that still doesn't look good to you, you can turn up soft edge and also enable motion blur once and for all. So just like that, streamline okay and then we're gonna do your and then just change the color to white just like that so streamline your and then from there it's just the same methods guys so it's really simple once you get the hang of DaVinci Resolve this is why I love DaVinci Resolve so much because it's so customizable um, if you guys made it to the end of this video um, consider going to Cop Motion Text Pro because instead of doing all of this, you could save so much time with all of the text effects that I ever created or made or did anything with within a drag and drop seconds, within seconds. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking around and literally watching me um, show you guys how to edit this video. I'm sure you guys got lots of value from this video. Um, Go run with this value. If you want to save time, like I said, check out Ryan Herrick's store. There's an all-in-one bundle and then also literally this preset, which is like the best seller on my website right now. Um, and so updates are coming. Like there's so many updates are coming. There's more text effects being added. And if you buy it, then you, you're getting it at the lowest price now. When I add more to it, the price is only gonna raise. So go cop the pack while it's the lowest it'll ever be. You get lifetime access on the pack with whatever update I end up giving it, which I'm gonna give it some huge updates here soon. Um, thank you guys for sticking around this video. Also guys, drop some comments down below on what you wanna learn next. Um, I'm, I'm an open book. Let me know what you guys would like to learn, specifically in detail maybe, whatever it is, I'm all ears. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have an extremely blessed day and I will see you guys in the next video.